Anthony Carboni back here at the PlayStation booth, E3 2015, joined now by Dino Verano, a producer at Activision, who is oh, working on a game that I'm so excited about, Tony Hawk Pro Skater 5. Welcome, sir. Thank you very much. Thanks for having me here. Uh, I mean, there's so much to talk about, but the first thing is like, oh my god, it's a new Tony Hawk. I know. <laughs> oh my god, Tony Hawk is the first words that always come out of my mouth. Um, we're really excited. We've been working really closely with Tony. Um, the, the Pro Skater franchise has just been such a beloved franchise, and he's been listening to fans wanting a new Pro Skater game for ages now, yeah. right? And he finally feels that, you know, with PlayStation 4, next gen, there's kind of this opportunity for people to play together in ways that they haven't before in a Pro Skater game. Now, this is interesting to me because there is not just multiplayer, but there is some pretty large-scale multiplayer yes, going yes, on. Yes, yes, actually there is. So the way we do it is any level that you enter is free skate by default, mm -hmm. just right when you start, right? So, and then these are treated as your lobbies. So you go in, it's a free skate session, it's dedicated servers, it's an open park. This park will be here long before you arrive, and it will stay open long after you leave. So you jump in. When you are dead players, and in the yeah, ground. When you are dead and in the ground, that park will that still park be there. That park will be there. Virtually. <laughs> <laughs> well, this is great. So, uh, and then as far as the parks go, are we seeing are we seeing just all new environments? Are we seeing the return of some classic environments? So we've got a couple classic environments as throwbacks. I mean, you have to have something that's reminiscent of the warehouse. We have a mm -hmm. level called the bunker. It's kind of this Franken level between the warehouse and the old school hangar. Nice. Uh, we've kind of combined it for some great nostalgia factor, and people really love it. Everybody that's played it and seen it is like, this is it. This is my childhood. <laughs> you know, it's a pretty amazing. So this is cool because you are uh, you're obviously doing things like like you said like this bunker level. Yep. But. Uh, you guys have the opportunity to do some larger parks and some more detailed parks Absolutely than you guys too. have done before, yep. too. Like, tell me about the size on some of these things. So some of these are huge, right, because yeah. they're made for, like, 20 people to play together. Mm -hmm. And, I mean, it's not just that, right? So once you're in, you can play solo if you want, totally. Mm -hmm. we're, we're not forcing you to play with people, but we like it, and we feel like it's fun. So you go in, and then you guys can queue up missions together. And the great thing about missions is, if, let's say you have your party with you, you have your friends, you invited them to this free skate session, you're all just skating around. You hop in, you play a mission, you can play a co-op. You play oh, a mission co-op, awesome. proceed the storyline, unlock new stuff, earn new things, and then once that mission is done, once that two-minute mission is done, you're not popped back into the menu system. You're popped back into the free skate session. That's awesome. So. And that, the reason, like, I love that co-op idea because whenever you were playing on, on the older games, you know, yeah. there's always that one tape that I can't get, but my <laughs> friend can get really easily, and then he can't get one that I can get, you know what I mean? And so it's so nice to know that you can kind of, will you be able to tackle yeah. those goals together? So those are free skate goals. The tape yeah. is a little bit separate, but... Yeah. The nice thing is, um, so you will be able to tackle goals when you mm -hmm. go into missions, like, like say there are collectibles or it's mm -hmm. a race or it's a dash. You guys will either succeed or fail together, Okay. right? But as far as uh, free skate goes, this hidden tapes, mm -hmm. those are around the level when you're playing the free skate. Okay. So, but your friend who's in there skating around, mm -hmm. hanging out on voice chat with you, can be like, oh, dude, try wall riding up here, jumping up here, and try getting into that. So there's definitely ways for them to kind of help you out and kind of, guide you into these really cool areas and explore the level with you and just play together. Great. And, and as far as character customization, that's always been a pretty mm -hmm. big part of Tony yes. Hawk. You know, getting your new deck, getting Absolutely. your, like, customizing your yep. trucks, your wheels, all that stuff. Tell me a little bit about how I'm going to be creating my skater <laughs> now. So what we have is we have customized a character. Mm -hmm. We've made it uh, a lot more streamlined and easier to just jump right in. Of course, you can play as one of our 10 pro skaters, mm -hmm. but you can also kind of customize a couple fantastic characters. I know that Tony might have hinted at one named Richard possibly yeah. uh -huh. being in the game. I can't give you too many okay. details, okay. but, you know, I mean, what Tony shared, I could probably share. Gotcha. So. so this is great, man. And then when are we going to be seeing Pro Skater 5? September 29th. Oh, my God. 4. So yep. soon. I know. It's, it's almost there. It's really <laughs> happening. Tony Hawk 5 is happening. Thank yep. you so much, hey, Gino, for coming thank by. Thank you very much for having me. Appreciate awesome. it. Awesome. PlayStation.